Alright, so there was a great dilemma on the plane. We got the uh, Sony, I don't know what the fuck these are called, WH-1000 X3, XM3, the Apple AirPod Pro, jump off. And then my question on Twitter, are these good enough for an airplane, or do you still need these big old motherfuckers? I did a test. The answer is, there is no answer. I listened to these first, listened to the same songs even, because I wanted to test it. Beats made by myself. I feel like Dr. Dre when I do these things. This one, uh, definitely more comfortable. Sound is absolutely better, and the noise canceling is really, really good, like you can't hear anything. These, I gotta be honest, I was surprised at how good they were at noise canceling in the plane. Like it was pretty damn good, really good, really, really good. But you can still hear certain things, like I could hear the announcement a little bit, just like little, little ambient noises and shit, but these actually work pretty well. Battery life's not as good on these as these. So for a long trip, I would still go with these. And I would probably go with these more than any. Oh, more than these. I don't have the other ones. Some people give me shit because I don't have the Shures. These are great for a short flight or if you're in a pinch or if it's all you have and you don't have both or whatever or what have you these will definitely work for noise canceling if you only have a budget for one I would just go with these I guess because they're you can use them in more places than just the airplane uh, but these are definitely better sound quality more comfortable this shit don't feel as good in your ear as long um, yeah that's my airpod versus Sony review I would go with Sony airpods still work in a pinch both are luxury items that I feel blessed to own so I'm not gonna complain about either one. All right, so Seattle, I'm fucking hungry. I want some weed. That's the plan. We gotta go meet my homie. He owns the tattoo studio. Go check in with him, get keys, do all that. But uh, yeah, it's time to get out of here, dog. Get these motherfucking Seattle streets. don't have the keys but we're coming back tomorrow to get them but we did meet my man Jamie who came very highly recommended to my friends in Chicago so we're gonna be tatting in there definitely my speed all Japanese vibes so you know we're in the right place and now we're gonna take our ass down to the dispensary after we figure out which floor we're on all right how the fuck do I get out of here spent the morning drawing for my uh, appointments. Uh, first things first, Dick's. It's a really solid, it's not a gourmet burger. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like, oh my God, this is the best burger I have ever had. But it's like a burger that reminds you of era doesn't exist anymore, dog. Eating a burger as a kid, it's like what a fast food burger was before fast food burgers started becoming, trying to be craft burgers. You know what I'm saying? It's some good shit. It's horrible for you. I, I know because this morning I feel like shit. But Dick's, Dick's drive-in, solid. I really like Seattle. I really do. Food-wise, it's great, even though my stomach hurts. Thinking that the new wave could just be to start a, a weight-gaining channel. Not too many people do that. Just move to Seattle and just start eating, dog. I'm not gonna be able to stay away from them donuts today, too. I'm about to go out and get breakfast. To elaborate on ramen, ramen? No, not ramen. Sushi, capo, I don't remember the last word. Tamura, Tamura, I don't know. Super good, I'm very glad I went there. Is it mind-blowing? No. Well, actually, some of it is pretty good. 
Well, I learned last night at Su when I order, tried to order Unagi is that Unagi is endangered, which I did not know. Unagi is eel. That was new for me there. The food there is really, really good. Everything, as far as their rolls go, I'm not normally a roll guy when I'm comparing sushi, but their rolls are really good. The sashimi and the nigiri cuts are also really good. But man, after you go to Japan, you get those big ass chunks of fucking sushi for half price. It's hard in America to justify it because you're like, God damn. I just paid six dollars for a piece of sushi that's not that not that big. So, but it is good. I understand. I'm not hating on it. I understand the business costs. Hey man, we want watermelon in the winter. You know what I'm saying? Sitting here in my window, reflecting on the last decade, even though I don't really do that. But I did actually stop to think about how crazy it is. How ten years, like what happens in the span of ten years, it is pretty crazy. Like I started ten ten years ago, straight up in fucking turmoil craziness doing cocaine moving around the fucking country trying to find something you know met jay jay's shortly thereafter going to prison me not being able to get my footing in life fucking craziness like super crazy tumultuous life is nuts i should probably stop doing drugs and focus on my shit craziness but i'm excited it's also cool to be here because you know i don't know this guy jamie who owns this tattoo shop we have a lot of mutual friends uh i'm sure you know i'm sure we have people that we know that don't don't like one of us or the other you know probably me but i really love when i meet new tattooers and you guys and you, and you click you know that you come from the same background and you kind of have these somewhat the same uh view on it the same taste it's it's cool i felt i left the shop yesterday feeling really like excited to be here and to tattoo i've been really excited to tattoo this year i think it's going to be good to have the painting studio in denver and then just sort of travel around this year like once a month go to a new city just tattoo because i really i get this energy when i travel i don't want to be gone for too long you know i don't like being gone for more than a week really I mean, I do, but I miss my dog, I miss home, I miss Alex, I miss some sort of normalcy. But I do really get a new energy to come to a new place, eat some really good food, meet some new people, do some tattoos. Like, that's where it all started with me. And the ability to design clothing in the scope of all this is a super, super blessing, which I plan on nurturing forever. But it would be nice, you know, again, like, after all the sneaker shit is out of the way, it's nice to just kind of clear the bullshit and um, to really connect, so... It feels good and I'm excited. And yeah, for the 2020, my whole, I guess my goal is just to travel once a month and just hit a new new city like every month, you know? Maybe not 12, maybe I'll do like 10 out of 12, but pretty often. Houston I'm coming to next. I come to Houston January 9th through the 13th. If you wanna get tattooed, you should hit me up ASAP because I'm starting to fill up teddytattooMe at gmail.com. And then after that in February, I'll be back in Chicago. Um, that's the plan right now. Probably Detroit as well. Right. So I think we're up to speed. I think we're up to speed on what's going down. The weed here is incredible. Colorado weed. Just, just I'm not into it. I don't think as much. I mean, that's just incredible. And yeah, other than that, just getting ready for other stuff behind the scenes. You know, we got drops coming, friends and family lookbooks. The public is getting things now. We got all kinds of shit. All kinds of shit's happening. Uh, January 1st is the next drop, which I don't even know if this vlog will be out by then. But the Fudo is King drop. This shirt, which is probably already going to be... These are flying already. The Sink or Swim. And something else. Oh, and the You Are Your Enemy Sharks. It's a good drop. It's the first. Just tomorrow at 10 a.m. So either I edit this tonight, or you don't get to find out about that unless you follow my Twitter. But I mean, it's a game. It's a game. Just like uh, Ninja Shoe selling out in 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I gotta stop hating on Ninja Shoe because people are starting to think that I care. Breakfast, where are we going? Uh, Capitol Hill Skillet. Capitol Hill Skillet. Yeah. Right. You know, it's a lot riding on this though. <laughs> you can't be wrong. You know what happens. <laughs> you know, people get roasted for shit like this. Uh, I'll, t I'll take the roast. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. <laughs> The breakfast burrito. Uh, the skillet diner. The skillet diner is actually pretty fire. What that? It's pretty fire. You did a good job. Now I gotta debate. Still all these all these traveling vlogs just turn into me eating a bunch of shit. Cause now I'm about to go should get this. Should we just convert the channel? I'm telling you, it's a it's a weight gaining vlog. Uh, we're trying to decide if we're gonna get these little the best donuts ever. So we got a little time. I mean we might as well take the ride probably. <laughs> Not that we need to. But still. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we're out here getting donuts, standing in the motherfucking cold, letting white women get in front of us. And he's over here waiting on this machine, and this one worked the whole time. But the screen blacked out. <laughs> he didn't see. He didn't even try. God damn it! It's twenty five dollars. We're gonna be here for ten minutes. Crazy sell parking tax. Owning a parking lot is where it's at, dog. I get my own parking lot. I need my own parking garage. Start reinvesting. God, you're in shorts. You're fucking. No, it's just freezing. Whoa, you ain't, you, you ain't from Colorado unless you no. ain't from the You're out of your mind. <laughs> pizza i've stayed in new year's eve it's uh 8 16 p.m it started it started raining new year's eve's a shit show there's so many people down by the space needle not going down there it's 20,000 people to be exact well not to be exact but that's how many they expect if it doesn't get canceled because it might get canceled because of weather so we ordered a pizza to be delivered <sighs> looks good came highly recommended I gotta say, I'm fucking with the box. Pizza box art. I am fucking with Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf vibes. First day of the new year, dog. 2020. Welcome. Welcome, motherfucker. <laughs> We just ate a bunch of bomb Chinese food, and uh, now I'm gonna go smoke some weed. All right, this morning I just went out. I got breakfast, lunch, whatever, paseos. That was pretty fire. Pretty, pretty fucking good pork sandwich. Uh, you should definitely check it out. Paseos. And then I went by and got some more uh, weed to take home. I know some of you are thinking, weed to take home? Some of you are thinking, yeah, of course, weed to take home. But the ones of you who are thinking, weed to take home? Yes. Flying with weed is something that I do. Because we live in the United States of America. And until those states become united in all of their things, all of their operations, I, as a patriot, must live freely or die. So part of that living free is to take home a very simple product like a plant because I want to. So yes, I will be flying home with all this weed. How you ask? I'm gonna throw it in my bag and I'm not gonna give a shit. And if anyone says anything to me, we're gonna have a fucking political conversation. And then after that, they're gonna let me go anyway because I'm flying from two states that recognize the shit is Okay, you know what I mean? Two states that don't give a fuck about your dumb shit. That's it. That's where we're at. So, yeah man, that's Seattle. I gotta pack up. I gotta get out of here. If you come to Seattle, you don't need to bring shades, because there's no sunlight. Alright, I'm out. Back to Denver.